Hello and welcome to the Mike's DIY Tips channel on YouTube. I'm Mike and in this video I'd like to talk to you about PVC tape and its many uses. As you can see it comes in a variety of colours and roll widths. The most common one you'll find in all sorts of shops is the black one and the width is about the same as a man's finger. It has some great properties. The first one is the tenacious adhesive which will stick to any clean and reasonably smooth surface. The adhesive does not chemically attack the surface that you apply it to. And then later on when you're finished with it, it can still be peeled off the surface and discarded. The other properties that are quite useful is the stretchiness and also its flexibility to go around uneven surfaces as you'll see in the following demonstrations. When buying this tape try and find the big fat reels like that because they've got a lot more tape on for the money. In bargain shops you'll see perhaps packets of three reels like that but there's really hardly any tape on the reel. To break off a length of tape for a particular job the normal practice is to grip the tape close together with finger and thumb in each hand and turn it off like that. But occasionally you can get a PVC tape which is really stubborn and defies that tearing action. So instead of tearing we have to resort to a knife or scissors. Now notice that I'm holding the end of the tape with those two fingers pulling out from the roll to keep the tape taut while I cut. Now if you're up some steps and you haven't got a knife and you haven't got scissors but you really want to break off some tape you can improvise. A small screwdriver or a sharp implement like a pencil just budge the tape like that and then you can turn it off. However the end that you've got is uh, very rough and ragged and won't look very pretty so if the tape's doing its job and you don't care about appearance fine but if you want a better appearance for the tape then you really need to snip it off with scissors or knife. First example, electric cable where we've got live ends so we bind the copper wire on the end to keep it safe temporarily, same that end or if you've just got a coil of wire you can bind it there to keep it all tidy. Similarly with rope you can bind the coil to keep it tidy or if you've got um, an end that needs tidying up you can put some tape around there. An alternative to the tape on the end to stop it going tatty this is assuming that this is synthetic rope or polypropylene put a flame on the end like that. It melts the plastic and um, just keeps it all tidy together. Here's an example of keeping oddments of metalwork uh, tidy, either for storage or for transportation. Here's an example of binding things together while glue sets. So here I've got a board and I wanted to fix this piece of moulding onto it. I've already put one piece of tape there. Let's do the other one. We need a completely dust free surface for the tape to stick to. So imagine we've put glue all the way underneath this piece of moulding. And the reason for using tape is not only for quickness but also because it's so delicate and slender we don't really want to uh, spoil it with little panel pins. So because of that gap there, cut the tape fairly long and pull it taut as you apply it because the tape does stretch so that stretchiness pulls the piece of moulding onto the board while the glue sets. Now 
when I came to use that morning, I found that it had a split in the end. So what I've done is I've applied glue and put some tape around there to hold it in place while the glue sets. Now here we've got various containers that have been opened. So first of all, um, a packet of uh, wall fixings and just a bit of tape on there to stop them falling out. Or this is a packet of decorator's filler powder. So I folded the top over several times, put some tape on and created a little tag on the end of the tape so that you can pull it off easily. You just simply do that by turning the tape onto itself. Here's a tin of small screws. So the tape keeps the lid secure because the tin is very full and I wouldn't want to spill them on the floor. And again a little tag where you turn the tape back on itself so that you can get hold of it easily. That's good for transportation as well so that they don't spill in the car. Here's a couple of garden examples. When I bought the new broom handle it was a bit loose in the head of the broom so I put some PVC tape around to uh, make it a, a much tighter fit. This is a garden fork which has got a rivet there which is now protruding and it's a bit rough and I've taken the skin off my hand two or three times so a bit of tape around solves the problem. If you've only got a short spirit level but you need a long one you can tape the spirit level onto a straight piece of wood which could be anything up to two and a half meters long especially say if you're trying to level the tops of fencing posts. And it works the other way as well if, if you keep that bubble exposed and not covered with tape then you can use it in the vertical plane as well. Another application for PVC tape using an envelope as a dust catcher and the tape to stick it to the wall. Here we've got a wall and we want to drill a hole there but we don't want the dust going all over the floor. So take your envelope and punch the corner in like that so that it, the envelope opens up, stick it in place and drill your hole. I always carry several old envelopes with me like this in my toolbox for this reason. Now one or two words of caution, this works on a lot of uh, wall surfaces including wallpaper but always try the tape in an out of the way place on the wallpaper because just occasionally it will pull off the face of the wallpaper but usually not especially if it's plastic coated. Likewise with paint, if the paint's a bit flaky it will pull it off but generally it's perfectly alright. This is a good application for PVC tape and we're looking at a wardrobe hanging rail or a bathroom towel rail. Either way the tubular material is the same and the end brackets are the same. The problem is the end brackets are usually very loose on the tube so when it's all fixed in place the tube can move, rotate and probably squeak. That annoys me and so for me the solution is PVC tape binding on the end of the tube. You have to guess how much to put on and I suggest deliberately put slightly too much because then you can always cut some off. That's just about right. Now don't worry if when you've got it all screwed to the wall etc there's a little bit of tape showing. What you do is take a sharp knife and rotate it on the tube pressing to cut the tape. Don't slide the knife backwards and forwards on the tube because you'll take the sharp edge straight off the knife. It's much kinder to the knife if you rotate like that. And then you'll find that the tape comes off. This is the electric cable for my electric garden mower and lawn strimmer. 
and this is an intermediate connector which I've bound with PVC tape to protect it from the damp when this drags along the ground. Still associated with my electric lawnmower, this is the lever that goes backwards and forwards to adjust the cutting height. This is my preferred setting and so I've got a piece of red PVC tape as a marker to remind me where the correct setting is. Another way of using PVC tape as an indicator is on a twist drill like this so that when we drill down we're going to drill to an exact depth and then stop drilling. And if you want to drill several holes the same, I've put a tail on the tape so that it's more obvious when you reach the depth required. So I've just reached the correct depth and I haven't pushed the tape up. If you're drilling several holes you don't want to push the tape up the drill because successive holes will get deeper and deeper. Just very quickly, if you've got to drill a lot of holes to an exact depth, much safer to make yourself a spacer like that out of a bit of scrap wood. When you're measuring the length of this spacer, make sure the drill first is all the way into the chuck as far as it will go. And as you can see, it's impossible then to drill deeper than what you've designed. When using a jigsaw to cut white melamine faced furniture board, which is prone to marking, you might find that the vibration causes the, the metal sole plate to mark the white surface, a bit like a pencil line. The way to get round that is to run two strips of PVC tape down the sole plate and then that will avoid the marking and the same goes if you're using a portable circular saw. In the house we have an upright vacuum cleaner with a, a front rotating brush which attacked this vacuum cleaner lead quite viciously and spoilt the insulation so I've bound it with PVC tape. Another mishap, this time with my laptop computer, I accidentally bumped this edge here just where two indicator lights are located and the trim was peeling away from the main body so I tried gluing it without success and then resorted to PVC tape. That tape has been in place now for over three years, no problem. Here's a quite different situation. We've got a glass mirror which we want to fix to the wall with a screw through a hole in the glass. It's a proper so-called mirror screw which comes with a, a chrome dome to screw on to finish it off. But I don't want the screw gracing on the glass so what we do, we bind it with some PVC tape. Don't need to put a lot on, just enough to go around the screw a couple of times and to get technical, if the screw turns clockwise we need to put the tape on anti-clockwise so that the tape won't unravel as we screw the screw into the hole. This is my final tip on using PVC tape. Here we've got a power supply plugged into the wall socket for the telephone system and we do not want that ever switched off. So we have a piece of white PVC tape over the switch to actually prevent the switch from being turned off by mistake. I've just been showing you uh, quite a variety of different uses for PVC tape and of course you can only use it if you've got a roll ready to hand. For that reason I always keep several rolls, one in the house, workshop, car, golf bag, because problems can come up which PVC tape can help to solve immediately if you've got it available. 
If you like my videos and you would like to subscribe to my channel to get automatic notification of new videos when they launch, you can click on the circular icon appearing on screen on the left now. Alternatively, if you'd like to watch some of my other videos, you can click on one of the square icons appearing on the right. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you will join us again soon.